Very good afternoon, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. Actually, I really wanted to record this since morning, but because I have somehow cold and flu and my nose are running and closed and, you know, uh, you cannot even talk when you are having situ just such a uh, case. And actually, I'm not feeling well. <laughs> so therefore, I just want to get uh, rid of this midweek analysis video because it's very important. So what I wanted to say here, for example, uh, the Euro USD, the Euro USD, actually, uh, the signal has not been triggered. As you can see, the pair has went all the way down to the same level of the support level where I was expecting from uh, for it to fall to. However, uh, sadly, it, it, the buy order hasn't been triggered exactly at the level I expected. But what happened later is interesting. Let me just get uh, rid of the first signal of the Euro USD. And let's see together what's happening so far. So for the Euro USD, actually, we can see that the pair right now ranging at that previous resistance, uh, we are having a very strong resistance at 1.21658. And as we can see, the Euro USD has reversed multiple times on that support level, meaning the resistance right here has been retested three times and both of the, uh, all of them actually failed. That means the pair is actually going to continue the rise because the upper momentum is uh, keeping its, uh, its ho holding its position. I mean, it's, it's very strong. As you can see, the upper momentum, the upper trend is strong. And therefore, we can expect to start buying the Euro USD as soon as possible. So to be honest, um, the signal is uh, not signal. I would say the, the analysis is a bit late because buying the Euro USD on the level 1.2167 uh, uh, was actually the best idea. However, the pair has rose actually for about 23 pips uh, after this. So what we are hoping for is another pullback because we can see right here on the one hour time frame, uh, we can see right here that we are having here a previous support level. Our really hope is that the Euro USD is going to rise to hit that previous support level. Then it's going to fall down to retest the broken, uh, so, uh, sorry, to create another support attempt on the level 1.21870. And from that point, it's going to be good to buy the Euro USD. Not to mention, of course, also that if uh, we do that, we are respecting the uh, upper, uh, the support to a trend line or the upper trend line. So therefore, uh, our signal is going to be or not signal, I keep saying signal. Uh, the Euro USD uh, for this midweek analysis is actually going to be good for the buy from the level buy from 1.21811 like that. And the stop loss should be, and not the stop loss, I mean the edge of the safe zone should be ranging until the bottom of that support level. So we are looking for almost 50 pips of the safe zone, which is really fair enough. And of course, for the take profit level, we can actually mark the highest level of the resistance right, right here. That is exactly exactly what I'm expecting from the Euro USD to continue the rise. And I think after that, we can expect uh, a continuation in the rising for the Euro USD because as we can see, the upper momentum, as I said, is very strong and most likely the Euro USD eventually is going to reach uh, the highest level on 1.25590. So therefore, uh, the take profit, as I said before, is going to be Take profit is going to be um, 1.22717. Let's go back to the one hour time frame. Exactly like that. So there goes your signal for the Euro USD. Hopefully also it will work very well and bring us lots of profits. For the pound USD, pound USD actually is, seems like it's continuing the rise. I mean, the bad news about the new strain of the COVID-19, which has been discovered in London, it doesn't really seem to be that bad on the pound, especially with the um, medical reports saying that the, 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 the new virus, it doesn't make any threat or it's not really uh, fatal as uh, they were expecting. So I don't really think it's going to be a big deal for the currency. So what we can expect right now from the pound USD is to continue the rise. So we need to, to look at the previous strong support and resistance levels. So marking the level right here. Let me just go to, to back to the one hour time frame. Exactly. So what we can see right here on the one hour time frame, look at that. The pound have a lot of gaps. Uh, that's because of the uh, so many uh, unexpected news about the Brexit and the new COVID-19, uh, the new strain of COVID-19 found, found in the UK. Too many things actually happening to the pound. So therefore, I really prefer to not give a signal. But however, just to be realistic, we should give one. So from my from my own experience or from my point of view 
I can see right here that we had right here a resistance trend line. That resistance trend line recently has been breaking out from, as you can see, and we can expect from the pair to fall a little bit more down to retest the broken resistance trend line and then continue the rise. However, I don't think the pound is gonna fall all that much. I think it's gonna reverse at that previous strong key support level, which was also previously a strong key resistance level as well. As we can, uh, and we can see right here, it was also a support right here and here as well. So therefore, we can expect from the pound to fall for another 30 pips before it's gonna be good for the buy. Especially, we can see right here that we had right here a previous resistance and that was the breakout from that resistance and what we can see right here these two candles are representing a support number one therefore exactly this is what i'm expecting to happen the candle is gonna fall like that and then it's gonna continue the rise creating support number two and from that point we can start buying the pair so therefore pound usd uh, is gonna be good for the buy at the level 1.33982 all right and the safe zone should be ranging just a little bit below that uh entry just like that i think that is uh, gonna be a little more yeah we can make it a little bit more there is a chance that the pound usd actually might fall a little bit more to the same level of that previous strong key support level before continuing the rise yes there is a chance yes there is a good chance that it's gonna fall like that and then rising to retest the broken resistance trend line that's why I'm going to set my uh, edge of the safe zone right here. So the edge zone, the edge of the safe zone is going to be ranging for almost 58 pips. I really hope it's going to be a really good signal. So let me just draw for you this the shape of the edge, uh, safe zone. Like that. And the take profit level, in, in case we started buying the pair, is going to be actually right here at the peak of that previous key resistance level, as we can see right here. Uh, that's going to be a good level to, to take profit and take profit is gonna be 1.35478 forgive me guys if i'm not uh, speaking clearly i just really want to finish this uh, video and get rid of the uh, of the pressure because uh, so many of you have sent me asking me about the midweek analysis video and honestly i'm not really feeling that well <laughs> all right so uh, AUDUST. AUDUSD actually uh, is still rising as we can see the signal has not been triggered as expected but however uh, the edge of the safe zone we can see that we had also right here similar to the EURUSD we had right here a previous two support levels then we had third and fourth one indicating that this, this support is very strong and seems like the pair is definitely going to continue the rise so therefore let me get rid of the old signal and let's see where we can start actually buying the AUD USD. If we draw right here a support trend line like that, we can see that the pair actually respecting that support trend line and it seems like it's climbing its way. And our hope that the pair actually right now is facing a small resistance level as we can see right here, we're having that resistance level. And I think the, the current, I mean, I mean, currently the candle is facing that level and seems like it's gonna actually reverse uh, as a pullback and then it's going to continue the rise so therefore uh, we need to look at the previous support levels like that perfect that's actually going to be a good level to start buying the AUD USD because we had right here a key support level uh, based on the four hour time frame so we can expect from the from the pair to fall for another 24 pips and then it's going to be good for the buy perfect so AUD USD is for the buy uh, 0 0.75631 and I think the safe zone is going to be the same. No, that's a lot. We can make it just right here until the lowest level of that previous support level. So uh, just like that. Perfect. We don't really need more than that. So it's going to be ranging for 51 pips, which is fair enough as well. And there goes the shape of your safe zone. And the target, of course, is going to be the top or the peak, actually, of that resistance. So we are looking for almost, I would say, about 100 pips of profit from this trade. Let me just write for you the take profit level. Take profit is going to be uh, 0 0.76375. Hopefully also it will work very well for us and bring us lots of profits. Let's look at the USD CAD. USD CAD actually has uh, disappointed me. Actually, I was really expecting a good deal from the USD CAD because the pair seems like it's respecting that resistance trend line. Of course, there was the news... Um, as i said before guys the unexpected news about the new strain of the COVID 19 virus has really hit the market and changed everything not to mention of course the news about the lockdown in london however 
what's happening so, so far with the USD CAD? The USD CAD actually, as we can see, uh, facing a strong key support level. Actually, to be honest with you, that was supposed to be the new signal for the upcoming few months. Uh, I was waiting for this moment for a long, long time to start uh, sending this signal because actually I was expecting from the USD CAD to fall more down until it hit that support level because what we can see right here we had a double bottom pattern and i thought maybe it will fall down and then eventually after a few weeks it's going to continue the rise and hit that previous uh, support level then we can start shorting the usd cad however what happened is the usd cad actually immediately on uh, monday i think or tuesday it reached that the previous resistance level and immediately uh, reversed so anyway what we can see right here we had two attempts of the uh, new resistance level and therefore, it seems like USD CAD right now is ready to be uh, to fall down. So let me just make sure again and draw here the resistance trend line. It seems like the USD CAD really is gonna fall right now after hitting that previous uh, support. Uh, the the pair has failed uh, retesting the level. Therefore, we can expect from the USD CAD to fall all the way to hit the previous resistance right here on 1.27940. That being said, and I know I'm talking too much. Let me just draw for you where we can start ex exactly shorting the USD CAD again, exactly from this point. Uh, USD CAD is going to be good for the short at 1.29121, exactly like that. And the target is going to be, as I said before, the, the lowest level of the resistance right here, exactly like that. So we are looking for 124 pips of profit, the target is going to be 1.27892. Now, of course, uh, the safe zone is going to be ranging just a little bit above that resistance level because it means that the trade has failed already. So let me just make it right here, a little bit above the resistance. So it's going to be 53 pips, which is really fair enough. There goes your signal for the USD CAD. And I really hope this time it's going to work very well and bring us lots of profits. USD JPY. As we can see, the USD GPY signal is still valid, to be honest. And I think the pair is actually going to continue the fall eventually until it hit our buy level. So therefore, USD GPY signal, we are going to keep it because I think it's still valid. And I think it's going to eventually be uh, activated. USD CHF. The USD CHF signal is still actually active and the pair has almost hit the edge of the safe zone. Actually, I don't think anyone have kept this trade because the pair actually has uh, reached the uh, above the uh, this, the safe zone edge. However, what I'm telling always that we close the trade only if we see a major breakout happen from the safe zone. Uh, the edge of the safe zone doesn't necessarily mean a stop loss, but however, I know most of the followers are selecting it as a stop loss. So therefore, USDCHF signal is no longer valid. So let me just uh, make sure uh, uh let me make it clear that usd chf is right now good for the short immediately right now from that point from the level where we are right now actually because as i said before uh the pair right now facing a strong support level which was a strong key resistance level in the past and therefore we had right here many attempts of the breakout of uh, attempts to break out from the resistance and the pair has failed so therefore we can expect from the usd chf to immediately continue the fall I really doubt that the pair going to be able to rise little, even little above, above that resistance level. So therefore, USDCHF sell right now. Sell right now at the, le the level 0 0.88867. Yep. All right. And the safe zone is going to be ranging just a little bit uh, till that resistance level, I think. Yes, 50 pips, uh, pips, which is really fair enough. Yes. Okay. All right, and for the for the target for the target, I think we can keep the same target of the last time. However, no, I don't think so. Let me just be sure. I'm not giving random signals here. Uh, let me just be realistic more, and I'm gonna select exactly that previous support level. My eyes guy look, looking right here. That support level right there is gonna be our target. So therefore, uh, we are expecting about. Um, 116 pips or uh, about 100 pips for, uh, profit from this trade so that so, uh, so the take profit level is going to be 0 0.87925 i really hope it's going to uh, work very well for us and bring us lots of profits now let's take a look at the gold 
the goal signal has been triggered successfully as we can see the pair uh, as I, this is the same resistance trend line i have drawn here from the last mid uh, sorry from the last weekly analysis video and as we can see the pair has respected that resistance level and it has now become a new support trend line so that the gold actually was going in total of it went of total of one, uh, 204 pips of profit then again it's making the second attempt to retest that broken resistance trend line to become right now a support trend line now if i'm not mistaken uh, the goal seems like it's gonna actually continue the rise as we can see right here if we draw right here the uh, a support trend line like that the upper trend is seems stronger and i think the gold is actually gonna continue the rise don't forget that we're having right here a strong very strong key support levels then the, the gold is actually really respecting that level as we can see that can be actually reflected right here uh, we can see that the gold actually has went down to the same level of the support zone and actually couldn't break out of it and again right here also the gold tried to break out from that strong support level on 1849 and still fails to break out of it it's messy <laughs> this is the support level and we can see that the pair right here also went down uh, failing to break out of it so I, that's why i think the gold is actually going to continue the rise supported by the weakness of the usd dollar right now and therefore the signal of the gold should be still valid and remains the same so therefore there goes your midweek analysis uh, video and i really hope it's going to help everyone to make some profits today and this week don't forget guys that friday is gonna, the market is going to shut down uh, due to the Christmas and again I want to say uh, Merry and Happy Christmas for all my family and Christians uh, uh, friends right here on this channel and everywhere so in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching